what's going on everyone I'm back here with another video <clears throat> and today uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS applications using iTunes in OS 10 Yosemite uh, the version of iTunes that I am running is version 12.1 and the version of OS 10 that I'm running is 10.10.2 uh, so the process in doing this is actually fairly simple. Um, let's go ahead and open up iTunes real quick. Um, but yeah, the process is fairly simple. Uh, it is somewhat similar to how you would do it in OS X Mountain Lion and Mavericks. Uh, but because of iTunes being updated to a new design and everything like that, uh, the process is slightly different. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first and foremost, you need to make sure that your iOS device is connected via the USB cable to your computer. And this will work with iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. So it will work with the wide range of iOS devices. And I can guarantee that it will work with iOS 6 and above, but I cannot guarantee if this will work with iOS 5 and below, because I have not tested that. But I can confirm that iOS 6 uh, and above will work with this process. So, um, essentially, so let's go and get started. Um, the process you need to make sure that you do first is basically the reason why you're watching this video is you've updated an application on your iOS device and you're not happy with how the app either looks or maybe a feature has been taken away or something like that. And you're just overall just not happy with it. So, but essentially, when you update an application on your iOS device, uh, the device will keep both the old and new versions of the application file. So, to get the old version of that application file, we need to go up here to the status bar. Uh, you make sure, of course, iTunes is open. Um, hit a, a file scroll down to devices and then you need to tr select transfer purchases from so and so's uh, iOS device so hit that and then iTunes will search for applications that need to be transferred and this is the app right here that I'm going to be downgrading it is called widget and you do need to make sure that the application is already in your iTunes library this will not work if you downloaded the app on your device but the app was not already in your iTunes library so you need you need to make sure that the app is already uh, in your iTunes library I am exaggerating that because like I said it will not work if it doesn't so as you can see the app icon is right here in the library and as you can tell up here uh, iTunes transferred the version the old and new version from the Phone, in this case an iPhone so essentially what iTunes does with the old version of the application is it throws it away so if we go over to the trash can as you can see here we find the app icon or app IPA rather called widget 2.0 that is the old version that I would like to downgrade to so what you want to do is drag that out of the trash can and put it on your desktop and then drag and drop it right back into iTunes and as you can see iTunes will warn you saying that there's a newer version of this app that already exists in your iTunes library so it'll ask you if you want to confirm uh, if you want to replace it or not and in this case you do because we are downgrading so hit replace and iTunes will replace the new version of the app with the old version and now you can see iTunes is requesting that you update the application because this app is now an older version so now that we have the older version in iTunes you need to delete the new version off of your device so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick alright so I've deleted the app off of my iPhone now to put it back on the phone just drag and drop the app IPA onto your device's name like so and iTunes will then transfer or copy the application over to your device 
And if all goes correctly, you should end up with a downgraded version of that application. So let's go ahead and let it finish real fast. Okay, it's finishing. And now on my phone, the old version is now on the home screen. And it's working just as it should. So that is basically, in a nutshell, how you downgrade iOS applications uh, in iTunes uh, 12, 12.1 12 12 to be exact. So, and then now this version of the app IPA right here, version 2.0 in this case, you can either throw away this application IPA file if you don't want it, or you could create a folder and store it when you need to use this again. For example, if you accidentally update and you didn't mean to, uh, you can easily restart this process and re-downgrade the application all over again. And it should work just fine. So that is basically how you downgrade applications in iTunes on OS X Yosemite. Um, hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, like I said, it's fairly simple, but it can get complicated at times. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thought that it was helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.